what's up welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is Steph and today I'm gonna to be showing you five ways to style a black mini skirt now this one is tailored it is the Aritzia chisel skirt um, the short version there is also a maxi version so I'm gonna be styling this because one, 90s minimalism is kind of back and this skirt is very like 90s business casual vibes. And also I want to kind of style a few more like corporate siren, office siren-esque um, things. And I want to show you guys how I would personally take a tailored skirt like this and style it casual as well as style it more business kind of casual slash like business or office appropriate so i'm going to do five different outfits in a different range and they're also all going to be kind of like late winter early spring fall ish appropriate because that's the time of year it is right now so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into the looks okay outfit number one i have gone with a boxy kind of cropped white t-shirt. I've slung a neutral beige crew neck over. This is definitely more spring. Right now this is definitely still chilly, but I think once the weather goes to like 15, 16, you can kind of get away with it. And then I'm wearing it with my sambas. Very, it's gonna be like, maybe cool girl. Maybe if I'm selling myself, but very cute, very easy, very comfortable. I would like this. I don't honestly know what bag I would pair with this. I have hardly any bags. That's definitely something I need to work on. So we're not showing any looks with bags today, guys. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't have any good ones. <laughs> but given the like sandwich rule, the shoes are light and the top is light. So I would maybe go with like a brown bag maybe? I don't know. What are your thoughts? All right, so I think the like four inch heel is probably a little too high for corporate situations, but I would wear something like this. It's very cute. Um, this is a slim fit, very old Ralph Lauren uh, cotton button up and it's just I have it done. It's not pressed. I'm so sorry. The skirt and I have a pair of Gucci Mary jeans on. These are definitely, I don't even know how old these are, but they're just so cute. Now I was planning on styling this as more of a date night, but it definitely works if you had more conservative heels on, like lower Mary Janes or something, or like a block heel. This does work as a corporate outfit could maybe throw on some tights or something if you don't like the bare leg but it's very cute it's very simple and here is a variation oh, I'll show you the back of this first it was like this is a bit I don't know I mean my my heels are definitely too high for the office so just just suspend your disbelief that I have on more appropriate <laughs> height heels. I actually don't have like work heels. Um, I don't work in an office, so I don't need them. And I wouldn't honestly spend my money on like that. So here is another variation on it, just with a like more tighter black jumper thrown over top of everything. This jumper is super old um, Lord & Taylor cashmere. It has like holes in it, but I love it so much. I honestly am gonna be sad when I have to give it up. But yeah, definitely if you're trying to be professional, don't have a hole in your elbow like I do. Either fix it or uh, just keep your cashmere fresh, but I don't know, I really like this outfit. Definitely, again, the heels, not appropriate height. I know, they're definitely a little more, um, they're 
they're more vixen than um, office appropriate, so we're just gonna suspend the disbelief, <laughs> please. All right, one more bare legs look, just because I wanted to style these boots. These are old Aquatalia boots, but they are very much slightly Western inspired, very cute, very chic. And then this is a Massimo Dutti cardigan. This kind of higher crew neck with the big gold buttons is a very trending shape. Obviously the fuzzy fuzzy boucle is very winter appropriate, early spring appropriate. So I want to just chuck one outfit together. Very much showing the sandwich rule in real time. Very clearly, obviously we have grayish boots gray sweater sandwiching the black skirt you could wear tights with this but if i'm being honest with you light boots and black tights are just not my thing so skin color tights or whatever would probably be the move here but yeah all right a little bit of office casual i put on tights um these are the I don't know, okay, 50s or something from Wolford. Uh, very expensive tights, but very soft tights. Like, comparing these to, um, you know the ones that don't break? Um, I forget what they're called, oh my gosh. I won't, anyways. Just, ultimately, they are my favorite pairs of tights ever. I've actually had them for a really long time. So long as you're just really careful with them, they're great tights, they're super comfortable. I have paired everything today, or well now, with very basic pointed toe Stuart Weitzman heels. These I got on sale legitimately, like probably in high school. They are a little worse for wear. I could definitely go get the them resold and the toes like touched up and stuff, but they have served me really, really well. Again, for corporate, these might be a little too high depending on like what your feelings are and that sort of stuff but to be honest unlike the gucci mary jeans that i was wearing earlier these definitely don't feel as like out of place maybe those are just the tights but yeah these these feel a little bit more appropriate they're still i think a touch too high um in my opinion maybe because i'm also quite tall i think like a four inch stiletto in an office setting is maybe just too much I don't know, maybe I need to work on that preconceived notion. But anyways, the outfit. I have on a mock neck Lululemon Wondermost top, and I have paired it with a cropped Ghana jacket for a little bit of extra structure in my look. And that is the outfit. Definitely much more corporate. I would wear this to a client meeting for sure. Um, probably just with lower heels or like block heels or something but i really liked how it streamlined the pointed toe like actual pump looks um i definitely i don't know i really like them i really like them i don't know i keep saying i don't know but i really like them i really like how it looks i feel like it gives a lot of elevation a lot of elegance to the look so no yeah and again we're sandwiching everything in, only the white is showing. You could also just wear a black and have this be fully monochrome, but I like, for this time of year, I think a little bit of light color-ness. I mean, wearing so much gray and so much black in the fall and the winter, now it's like, the weather's getting a little bit better. It's time for a little bit more light tones. I'm ready for my white monochrome summer. Yeah, okay. All right, here is the most corporate of the outfits, and it is still really comfortable. Um, we've left the tights and the skirt the same. I have put a pair of Sir Weitzman sock boots. Now you can do sock boots, Chelsea boots, whatever is your cup of tea here, but for me, for comfort, I like this. I think this would also look really nice with a pair of pumps or something, but just 
so that there's different shoes kind of cycling through we got sock boots these are suede and these are very comfortable they do burn the bottom of your sole a little bit if you're doing a lot of walking but for standing and everything they are the perfect height they're like i want to say three inches and definitely like being in a three inch heel for me this feels a little bit more maybe it's just because it's a block like let's just say it's because of the block but i i like the thicker heel i think it's a little bit less like cocktail a little bit more office appropriate I'll see then i'm wearing a long sleeve skims cotton jersey top this top i put underneath because it is just it is very comfortable it is just like it's warm enough it makes a nice layering piece it's comfortable it's fitted i know that it's gonna stay not worried about it you could also wear like a bodysuit or something and then i've chucked on this is a vogue blazer now depending on your corporate setting, this might be a little too oversized, but for me, this is fine. Um, again, because I don't work in corporate, but you can always kind of tailor your blazer to it, but this is just kind of to show a lighter blazer. Now, this is not a sandwich outfit. This is just a monoc like color blocked kind of outfit, so I don't know if it's necessarily trending or not, but I really like it. You could also just pair this with a black bag or something and I think it would be totally fine. But the key, I feel like with this outfit, which makes me like it so much, is the shape of the blazer. It's slightly oversized, but what I really like is the length. It's not cutting me off like too high. It's quite a bit longer, so it sits below, like almost on my butt, and just really elongates the look. It doesn't kind of, you know, chop. I think that's what makes it a little bit more like business casual versus like if I were to wear something that was a, like cropped in this color, I do feel like it would be a little bit more just like casual, casual. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? But this is the fifth and final outfit. Okay, so those are all five outfits styling the chisel skirt. Let me know what you guys think and if you would recreate any of these outfits. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.